Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a new year. That means new seasons for the Grizzly Gauntlet and Grizzly Gems and all sorts of other projects for 2017. But I gotta admit, I'm pretty tired out. I mean, there's been a lot going on this last month and last year wasn't the best, so I must admit, I've been getting quite tired the last few days and months. I think I'm off to bed. Make sure I start the year with a bit more pep, so. Time for me to catch some shut eye. All right, that's much better. Hang on. Forty winks. What's that doing in my bed? Who put a PlayStation there? So 40 Winks was created by Eurocom Entertainment Software back in 99 for the PS1, and was even supposed to be released for the N64. However, the N64 version was scrapped last minute, yet somehow managed to get reviewed by both Nintendo Official Magazine UK and Nintendo Power Magazine. Power Magazine even put a strategy guide into their January 2000 edition of the magazine, in fact, Nintendo Official Magazine had some choice words about the release. Quote, Move over, Mario. Yeah, I mean, what's that Mario guy doing now anyways? Okay, let's begin. Hang on, that sound. I've heard that somewhere before. Anyway, let's pick our character, Rough or Tumble. Well, seeing as I'm a bloke, I'll try out Rough. Hmm, something's familiar about him. Oh well, it'll come back to me. Hmm, looks like this game has some pretty impressive cutscenes to show off. At least for the time it was set. Okay, no talking, no pillow fights, and no reading under the covers. But Mom, bedtime's boring. Yeah, there's nothing to do but lie here getting bored. Oh, hush. What about dreaming? What about it? Dad says dreaming is a period of elevated brain activity occurring during certain sleep phases. Elevated brain activity's boring. What? Didn't Daddy mention the winks? No. Who are they? There's a lot of things Daddy doesn't tell us, lady. Judging by his absence, maybe he's keeping a few things from you too, huh? The Winks are little creatures who live in the land of dreams. It's their job to make sure all your dreams are of the very highest quality. All day long, they're tucked in bed. But at night, when you're fast asleep, they go to work. With their help, you can be whatever you want. A superhero, a robot, a beautiful fairy, or a clown. But Mom, sometimes I have a dream, and it's not like that at all. It's scary. Ah, well, those are the hoodwinks. They're the naughty ones. They make dreams, too. Only their dreams are horrid. Don't worry. No matter how scary it seems, the goodwinks always come along and put things right. They tell off the hoodwinks and chase them away. But, Mom, what if something happened to the winks? Who'd save us from the hoodwinks then? Sweetheart, nothing is going to happen to them. But, Mom, what if? Well, you two would have to go and rescue them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's pretty irresponsible of you. You obviously know what's going on in Dreamland, yet you're willing to throw both of your children into the fray? And you're always shrouded in chest-high darkness, so uh, I don't know, it seems a bit odd to me. Oh, botheration! Where is that lazy good for nothing? Fred Bear! No, 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 no. Not Fred Bear. Fred Bear. You see? Look at them all. 
reveling in their dreams, wallowing in the sleep of the innocent, mocking me with their nighttime flights of fancy. You mind, Mr. Nightcap, sir? Threadbare. I am sorry. Did I wake you? No, master. Are you sure? You weren't just having a little snoozy woozy. No, oh, great one. Good. That would be typical of you, indulging in your most basic desires for sleep when I need you to carry out my audacious and brilliant plan. Plan, master? Yes. Alert the hoodwinks. I want them to kidnap all the winks and lock them up. Sir? You heard, Threadbear. If I can't get a good night's sleep, then why should anyone else? From now on, sweet dreams have been cancelled. So hang on, mate. You're annoyed that you can't sleep, so you think the best solution is to make everything miserable for everyone in your street, or is that globally? I don't know. And that's in spite of you owning a sentient teddy bear. What? So yeah, this game is essentially a collectathon with beat em up elements thrown in and a hefty amount of platforming. We start the game in Rough and Tumble's house and get to take a look around. Hmm, looks like most of the doors are locked. But here's one that works. So yes, this horrible abomination is essentially our tutorial guide. His name is Wakey Wakey and he teaches us the moves we can use in the game. We get a jump button, slide kick, punch combo, butt slam, and even some sort of special move. Oh yeah, that's who I thought it was. Hang on. I think I got his number, I'm going to try phone him, hold on. Hey Gordon, did you used to be in a game called 40 Winks when you were younger? Unbelievable. Well, I mean, you do have a bit of a temper and you are quite outspoken and occasionally you do uh, get into a little bit of a verbal debate, uh, if you could call it that. But, you know, I was just I was just wondering. It seemed quite uncanny to me. I'd like to see an official press release, no? Oh, well, all right, mate. No worries. See you later. Yeah. OK. OK, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a call later. OK. Thanks, Anthony. Bye-bye. Fuck it, no. Now the house we start in has several doors, all housing little mini-worlds set with a theme. For example, the first world is a haunted, spooky type of vibe. Whilst there are also underwater, interstellar, prehistoric, and piratical themes to name a few. Each one of these worlds contains three levels, each containing four dream keys which unlock the stage's final boss and two to three of the aforementioned winks that need to be saved. To get to these objectives, we also need to keep an eye on our health, which is displayed in Zs, which if they deplete will make our character wake up and exit the dream world. More Zs can be collected, plus we can also pick up moons to power our special ability, and even cogs which unlock doors in each level. This style of design allows a linear experience which tends to make finding our way pretty easy due to the contained nature of each environment. Plus occasionally we also find jack-in-the-boxes which grant special costumes to our hero. There are four in total, which include the Jester outfit, which allows partial invincibility and increases speed, the Caveman costume, which allows Rough or Tumble to smash through certain objects, do more damage to enemies, and, uh, this. Hey, hey, are those your bones? Or are they the bones of your food? Either way, what the fuck is wrong with you? Plus, there's the ninja costume, which makes you jump a bit higher and do some advanced combat moves. And finally, the superhero costume, which allows you to get a jetpack double jump and homing rockets. Although there are some instances where the unique abilities of the suits are used well to break up the gameplay, instead, most of the time the costumes are used primarily to allow you to press a button with a specific logo on it. Which is... crap. But I do like the idea of each of the costumes and they really help add variety to the somewhat stale combat you usually perform in your default state. Oh look, a witch! Ho ho ho, I am Fredbear's champion of the nightmare race. Hit me again, if you want to race me. Andy? Here for your race? Andy? You uh, said you wanted a race, I think? Come on, mate, let's race. Let's go. You know, you, you gotta hit me first because that's how you start a real race. It's like how they do it in the Olympics. Come on, let's go. Come on, then. Hit me. I wanna go racing. Hit me, come on. Don't be a pussy. Hit me. Hit me. Come on, better than that. Hit me. 
You want to race? You want to be Usain Bolt? Come on, we can do it. We can go for a race. Now there are little moments which break things up like this minigame, but for the most part the charm is in the details of the maps themselves. There's a ton of variety in the enemies and level design, even if essentially the mechanics of both don't really change much. But I mean, even the names of the levels are great. Which Way Woods, Crusty Rusty Wreck, Tippy Toe Temple, Night Time Towers, and the uh... Cosmic Cheese Caves? Uh, but also we get to fight our nemesis Fredbear in a variety of ways too, with each being themed around the level. So first off he's on top of a giant spider, then we fight him on a crab, yep, in a UFO, on a dinosaur, riding a medieval horse, and even on a pirate ship. They all have a unique way to beat them, such as uh, tiring out his mount, running around him, and uh, just spamming the attack button. Okay, okay, they're not great fights, but there's clearly a lot of cool stuff that they were trying to do here. And to Fredbear's credit, every time we kick his ass, he has to deal with Nightcap's anger and usually off-the-wall experiments to repair him. But after you collect 40 winks, <laughs> it's like the title, we can unlock the final door in the house which leads us outside. We fight Fredbear one last time in a giant mecha Fredbear suit, which is a uh, very... Uh, tedious. And then the game ends with Fredbear telling us that Nightcap won't go to sleep because the nearby clock is too loud. Really? That was why? He went through all the trouble of building mech suits, taming dangerous animals, imprisoning magic beings in dream dimensions with the aid of a sentient cuddly teddy bear, and the solution was to break a noisy clock. I give up, this game makes no bloody sense. So there we have 40 Winks, a pretty decent platformer from the 90s, and I mean, it's got a lot of cool stuff on offer. I mean, it's no Spyro the Dragon or Crash Bandicoot or, um... <coughs> <coughs> but it has a lot of charm to it, especially in the FMV sequences. Now, some bits are a bit clunky. The platforming in particular can be extremely frustrating, and it does get repetitious near the end of the game. But overall, for a 5-6 hour experience, I had a lot of fun. Now I think it's about time I save this game just to make sure that if I want to come back to it, everything's in order and where it should be. Now let's see, 